The company called Excelicom is partnering with the state to act as the middleman between the state-owned fiber optic network and internet service providers. In 2016, then-Governor Matt Bevin officially launched the state's broadband initiative called Kentucky Wired. I want you to understand without any question at all this project will be done, then it has the absolute commitment of this administration and every bit of power that we have to make it happen. Now, nearly five years later, the project is complete. 3,200 miles of fiber optic cable has been laid across all 120 counties with the goal of giving all Kentuckians access to the Internet and offering that service at a faster and cheaper rate. I liken it to a superhighway where eight lanes have been paved. Uh, throughout throughout the Commonwealth. Now we're working on, on building the off-ramps and connecting with folks who have the off-ramps. So that includes certainly a lot of rural areas. Excelicom CEO David Flesses says building those off-ramps and creating partnerships with internet service providers like AT&T, for example, will take time. And it's not just rural areas that need connectivity. There are several areas in Jefferson and Oldham counties, too. We're hoping to uh, bridge that digital divide not only in rural areas but also in, in metropolitan areas who, where the broadband uh, options have not been as good. According to the Kentucky Wired website, the project will allow businesses to compete globally, expand educational resources, expand telehealth services, and improve communication for first responders. Half of the fiber optic cables will be used by state and government entities, but the other half will be used by businesses, schools, and potentially you. Flesses says the profits will be split between Excelicom and the state on a sliding scale. He's hopeful to begin offering services in the next few months with plans to grow exponentially over the next few years. I'm Julie Dolan, WLKY News.